Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod in Hearts of Iron Form. Your host, Mr. Soviet Lover, but right now, we gotta talk about the rise of Tokachi. It's become quite clear that despite our insistence, we have created unrealistic quotas without taking into account how inefficient our economy actually is. To avoid looking bad and likely arrest, factory managers have begun hiring Tokachi, or pushers. These people help the factories meet their production qu targets by getting bureaucrats to lower the targets themselves, so when a factory meets the new targets, they look better. Can we do nothing about this? Oh boy, we're right now doing socialist idealism. I don't remember if I read this, but reshaping people's personalities must come with an ideal, a goal to work towards. That goal is communism. And then, let's see, her sister speech, support Republican Spain. The uh, F dudes have risen up against the Spanish Republic. They are a liberal, capitalistic regime, however, they're ideological allies. Britain and France seem to prefer the fascists, so... Uh, the people of Spain alone is alone in the fight. Several have proposed that we should support the Spanish instead. It would stop the advance of F-word. Reinforce the Communist Party of Spain. Give us a chance to purge ideological enemies in Spain and align Spain towards the block. However, we may have already committed an intervention. Sure. You know what? We could probably have another. Wow, that's a lot of revolutionary socialism there. It's kind of nice. Um, I should have actually done this a little bit earlier. I should have set them supplies and stuff. Uh, how good are these guys? Actually, that's not bad. These tanks... Well, we don't have a lot of tanks. You know what? Give us a motorized as well. How, how bad is the motorized? It's not great. But you know what? Send in the tanks. Send in the armor. See if we can do anything with these guys. If we have to be the reason why Spain doesn't fall to fa that fascism, that F word. Uh, oh, well. 159. And I love a little bit of conflict when we begin every single episode. So you guys head on down to this region. And fighters, fighters, tactical bombers, attack bombers, strategic bombers. Ooh, look at that. Oh, you're part of Army 6. That's not hurt you. And go down to 56-ish. Minus 50. And 9. Yay. Actually, we don't need that one just yet. I'll come down here. See what we can do. See what we can start cooking up. Shadow evacuation. Oh, that's not bad to do either. Oh, shoot down enemy planes, please. Anti-tank upgrade too. Thank you very much. It is, of course, 1936, my friends. A great year. Let's get some better tanks. We're using tanks. We must get some better tanks, right? Um, so I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do people, friendships of peoples or continue the colonizatia. Now, oh, no, historically, the better option, the more historical option would be continue the K-word. Uh, some of you guys recommended, actually quite a few guys recommended we should do this way, but I did say I want to go historical, and even though it was, this would give us more benefits, I think we're just going to continue with this one just because I will play as the Soviet Union again, especially when this mod gets an update someday, far in the future of the time it's recording, but I think we'll go this route. It's not going to hurt us that badly, but Koronizatia, our policy of ind indigenization must continue to ensure cultural prosperity. So we'll go with that route, just because I want to be slightly historical, even though I literally maxed out buff, max buff Germany, so we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Ooh, some better guns are always very welcomed here in the Soviet Union. Um, I We all serve the Soviet Union. Get some construction speed, thank you very much. Socialist real idealism. Do that one as well. Followed up with Re reinvigorate the class struggle. It hurts us pretty badly, not gonna lie. Anti intellectualism hurts us kinda badly too. Party fuel office. Matters relating to fuel usage by industrial and military equipment should be controlled by a special party committee. Now let's go do that. It's gonna hurt us quite a bit. Oh well, who's gonna lead this group here? Oh, he's pretty good on attack. I do like I don't like that he's politically connected, so oh well. And you're probably very politically connected as well. So what we're gonna do is maybe fight here, maybe? How bad is the hills? It's the hills here. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not bueno. The Great Purge. Oh, look at this. Investigations into the opposition have produced less than satisfactory results, as we cannot ascertain, for example. The Trotsky's evolved, however, at the direction of the NKVD. A uh, forced confession should allow us to eliminate political and social opposition. Zinovidets, Bukharanists, dissident artists, and other elements common at Stalin sees as a dangerous can and will be purged. Let us begin. Any upgrades? No, you suck. Um, case of the Trotskyite Zinovievite terrorist cell. Lev Kamenov and Gregory Zinoviev have, according to forced confessions, been working with Trotskyites to bring down the regime. Furthermore, we have evidence that the leader of the Armenian Communist Party, Vagarshark Artuyanovich Ter Vaganyan, is working with the Zinovievites. As of well, they must be liberated. So they will be imprisoned, tried, and executed. Vaga A. Tervi will no longer be junior secretary of the Armenian Communist Party. Oh, the Great Purge. If we are to purge the opposition, we must eliminate everyone Comrade Stalin sees as an enemy. Though you reduce it will bring repercussions on the country. Holy crap. Democratic Centrals have to be... Ex oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, if we do not complete this, we get a penalty to military performance based on the level of the purges. Um, well, I guess it will come on board eventually over time, so... Um, it would be at war when you have more war support. Actually, that wouldn't be bad getting more war support. We're fine on conscription for now. 
I would like to maybe get some more war support somehow, some way. Still give it some time first. Get it over here, maybe. Uh, there's only one division there. We should be able to win right there, right? Can we go to Zaragoza next? Lokomotiv Moscow wins the Soviet Cup in the first Soviet Cup Finals. A Lokomotiv Moscow defeated Dynamo Tbilisi 2 0. A hard fought uh, football match. The two teams completed in the Dynamo Stadium in Moscow with Nikolai Usov refereeing. The match was attended by 22,000 excited fans. Team captains Dmitry Maximov and Shota Shavgulidza did the best, but Moscow won in the end. I rooted for CDKA. Spanish gold arrives. The bank, oh, the gold of the Bank of Spain left the port of Cartagena a week ago and has safely arrived in Odessa. It is 510 tons of golden pestas, dollars, francs, pounds, of, or liras to name a few that will be used to pay for our debt help against the fascists. The gold is now en route towards Moscow. We can now begin. Now we can help Spain. Well, somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Spanish people need our help against fascism and will provide it in many different ways. We can try to increase the power of the Communist Party in Spain. Each decision will increase Communist influence by Spain by three, needing 75 to seize power. Is it an armament? Artillery. Oh, we have to wait. Oh, okay. Cool, that's fine. Whatever. We'll just all go here and then go all... Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. There you go. Um... I do want to bust those guys out. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that. Actually, these guys are not doing too badly. We might actually come down here instead. Finish up southern Spain. Screw those other guys in the north. Mass purchase in the USSR. What? What? No, no. That's uh, capitalist uh, propaganda. Yeah, yeah. That's what we call it. Cop capitalist propaganda. Get some machine tools. And... Well, like I said, we do have some comms to go through, and which we will talk about, but I just want more world attention right now. Uh, party fuel office, like we said. Formalize familial laws. Um, but before we do that one, is there anywhere here we get some more war support immediately? Right here, yes. I don't want to hurt a political power. I don't want our stability and research to be bought. Professors, scientists, and any other kinds of thinkers are saboteurs and enemies of the people. So, how do we spend political power to do the purge? Unless that's, unless that's in our focus tree. Maybe that's in our focus tree, actually. Um, we have the army stuff up here, of course. Air Force, Navy. We have this up as well. Popular fronts, third period. Uh, mutually, mutual uh, assistance treaty pack thingy. Um, fourth year plan. So once the this uh, once we did the second five year plan is done over, then we'll go back and do some more of this five year plan stuff, which is like we saw last time. It's okay. It's not great. And we'll start doing that. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, streamline bureaucracy. Also, I did do I did do the I use console commands to get vertical and management. It wasn't that much of a console command cheat, but whatever. Uh, so once this is in January fifth. Oh, very soon actually. We'll have to head head it up. So. Nice. Uh, you guys just go up right on in. Don't let them leave. Beautiful. Um, how are we doing on tanks? We're not doing well, are we? We need some more motorized as well. Well, that's okay. We do have the motorized artillery, artillery, and... There you go. Save us a little bit with their engineers, of course. Support artillery. Really load these guys up on a lot of stuff. Um, motorized would not be bad. Let's wait for that first, though. Yeah, that's not terrible. And we only have one division there, so... Promises of peace. We could give more stability too, but still. Head on in, guys. There you go. Beautiful. You know, can I just tell you to. Oh, well, I would love to tell you to go, but I didn't give you orders, so. Yeah, five, four, three, two. Oh. We're going in anyways. Nice. Large front operations. You might be able to win there. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Okay, then. Can you do that one instead? Yeah, that's better. And. Deep operations. Let's keep going. See what you can do. Actually, go there. There you go. Now you cut them off. So we can kill them all off. That's all. That's, all. That's right. There you go. So when can we purge more? Because I'm not seeing any like decisions here. Sometimes you see them just only on the map and they don't pop up. So I don't see any sort of button here to like. Oh, just purge these people. I guess technically it was we're playing historically, so we just have to wait for things to happen. This guy's doing really well. We're doing actually probably too well. Yeah, well, I think we're doing too well. Um, we're gonna stop. Pushing is hard. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. After that, encourage party meritocracy. Important positions should be filled by those who are most fit to do so. Not a bad idea. FDR is reelected. Oh, good job, FDR. Now we're struggling here a little bit, but, you know, it tells amounts. And I think they're doing force defense, maybe? They might be. They might be. Are you becoming a hills fighter? Yeah, you are, actually. Hey, ten that's a lot of divisions. Be 
beautiful. And let's go ahead and send a group of advisors. Well, let's do shadow evacuation. Might as well, I guess. Oh, of course, they are on a mountain, so. Uh, you know what? Let's not hurt ourselves. Just hold. Let them deal with it. I mean, we're surrounding them anyway. They won't be able to escape, so I don't want to lose any more tanks. Tanks are important. Uh, any intellectualism, though? Strength and cadres. Cadre meritocracy? Yes, please. And now we can go to partial mobilization. I guess it. Oh, wow. Uh, we should probably be building up way more cities than this right now. Even though I love infrastructure. Love, love, love it. I need to play City Skyline sometime. That sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. I don't think it'll get a lot of views, but that's alright. And then we'll go start making a lot more millies, too. A lot more. Let them starve, let them die. We're just here to hang out and have a good time. Not bad. 0.56 is not great, though. I think Edward VIII abdicates. Cool. Courage party meritocracy. Still building up some more millies there, huh? Fuel capacity is now bad. It's almost 37, so that can't do that stuff yet. Can we go for nuclear stuff? Well, I'll get some more output first. Semenyan Budian Bidiani. That's not bad, too. Strength of the Cadres. It's almost 37. Rebate class struggle. Uh, NKVD. That's not bad. Purge of cr Crime Wave. That's not bad. War and Religion. The Stalin Revolution. Because um, once we start that, we have to really just beeline down that. So, uh, formalized Familial Laws. The status of the family has been attacked after by our dealers offensive since the days of London. However, the Central Committee does not want to go too far. So we should formalize the status quo. Yeah, they're not going to be able to escape, so. I think these guys are holding very well. I just want to make sure we get enough communist influence here. So we need 75. So we just, we've been just doing too well. Actually, how's China doing? I almost forgot about them. Because they will be going to war too. And we'll send some guys there as well. Oh, now it's gone. That sucks. Hmm. More construction speed? Yes, please. Oh, okay, so try the parallels anti-Soviet Trotsky at center. These dangerous leftists have presented a danger to the Soviet power and thus may be eliminated. Karo Radek has been especially forthright about Bukharin's writers and their planned opposition. They, thus, he will be spared for now. Feels weird. When we, like, we could win the Civil War right now, probably, honestly. We've done really well. And we're still getting some air, doc, air, air uh, stuff, so which is pretty nice, too. 40, huh? Uh, communal housing? Eh, that seems okay. We're really a class struggle. Uh, new bureaucracy would not be bad. That's not terrible. It's not great, though. Uh, anything else for, like, land auction, support artillery, tank production? This is not bad. We could actually use this right now. Tank production. Armor is one of the keys to our operations. We must focus on producing as many tanks as possible. Hmm. Get some food shipment. Why not? Strategic bombers, fighters, attack bombers. Alright, so, okay, let's just go and start making two lines of this now. Uh, 50% is not bad. Anywhere else around here? 40, 40, 30, 40. A lot of 40s. Excuse me, a lot of 40s. Do two at a time now. It's fine. I'm surprised that they're not starving, but that, I think there's a bug in the game right now, so. Um, they, yeah, these guys are slowly losing, so. Persian Democratic Centralists. They are a dangerous group of anti leninists who seek to end the power or end the of the absolute Soviet power. They must be found and executed without with public trial. Penalty aftermath of the Great Purge. We get more army XP gain. If completed, we get the same debuffs. What? What? BT sevens, nice. Thirty seven, yes, yes. So we're waiting for more tanks, we're waiting for more bombers, we're waiting, just waiting for a lot of stuff. Oh nice, I tanks. We're out of them, but we're gonna do it anyways. Need more guns, which we're working on. Good. We're at 48% right now, which is pretty nice. And we got two weeks left, that's fine. Tank production's good, good, good. Let's do the mutual treaty with the French right now. Owing to common threats, it would be prudent for the French nation and the USSR to defend other, defend each other probably against enemy invasion. Probably. Just in case, you never know. You just never know. 
what bad things could happen. Yeah. They're actually not that weak. And we'll send a thing of tanks. No, artillery. We don't have any artillery. That's fine. Oh, do we have any excess? No, we're looking pretty good here, honestly. So, one, two, three, one, two is fine. I don't mind working on infrastructure maybe a little bit. It's going to move a little bit easier. Uh, anything else here? Eh. Yeah, we can honestly use that right now. Well, we might as well do it because we're out of guns, anyways. So, we might as well produce more. I did say I want to need some motorcycles too, but we'll see about that. These divisions not looking too bad. Yeah, they're 18 combo width. They're not great. But whatever. I'm just waiting for more purges. I want a purge. So right now we're at 40. That's not very high at all, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Ah, there we go. Good. The Franco-Soviet Treaty of Mutual Assistance. A bilateral defensive pact with the French Republic has been approved by both parties from now on. If any power should either be attacked uh, or unprovoked, uh, they will be met by the combined forces of the USSR and the French Republic. Revaluation of a trade policy. The power we did not choose to decide what will be not favored during the trade deals. Hmm. All right. Community housing. Uh, reinvigorate the class war. Uh, I don't really do this, but you do get some more consumer goods. Intellectuals, cool and other forms of bourgeoisie, uh, or bourgeoisie, will still exist in the USSR. We must root out these enemies with a new spirit. Today, the USSR Championship of Men's Basketball Finals were held with Dynamo from Moscow, defeating Krasnaya Zarya Radan from Leningrad. Lokomotiv, also from Moscow, took their place. This season was the first to use the clubs rather than the city teams, with clubs such as Petrai and Golfik competing. A good match all around. Um, I don't have to do that. Everything for the state. Let's expand the Fabrique. Or, uh, Rob Fak. The Intelligentsia are Imperial Spies. The Robochai Faculty, the Workers' Faculty, will prepare proletarians to take their place. Nice. 37, 37. Yeah. Let them struggle a little bit. Let them struggle. So. The case of the Trotskyite anti Soviet military stuff. Oh. Purge right wing saboteurs. The Octopus and Black Hundreds still remain in Russia, ready to take back power when they smell opportunity. We should not give them this opportunity. Um, yeah, we'll see. Huh. Oh, there we go. Now we can purge Armenian nationals. Any Armenian suspected of harboring national sentiments must be purged to ensure the territorial integrity of the USSR. As well as Azerbaijanis, uh, Crimeans, Georgians, North Caucasians, Kazakhs, Tajiks, Tatars, Kyrgyz, Uzbekis, and Turkmenis. Now we're, like, getting no political power, but whatever. I do want to do this one, though, sort of an efficiency of this people. Uh, everything for the state. The USSR is home of the revolution, so serving the USSR is serving the revolution. All who do not give everything for the state are traitors and bourgeois wreckers. Something there. Medium tanks would not be bad already to grab. Let's grab this. You can throw it on the tanks for now, too. We've got a lot of air XP. Are we out of fighters? Hold on. Let me delete one of these fighter groups. Oh, they have 300. That makes sense. Should be able to plump you guys up a little bit more here. A few more numbers. All right. Case of the Trotskyite anti Soviet military organization. These Trotskyite officers want to take over the regime and bring that devil Trotsky to power. We cannot let this happen. Though there are officers who are either not political enough or too political. They're obviously hiding fascist sympathies. They must be purged. Uh, purge right as ours. Right as socialist revolutionaries remaining in the USSR must also be killed to prevent their dangerous influence from reaching the people. So now we're getting rid of a lot of people. Uh, send some ammo. Wow. Oh, promote Grigory Kulik. Why not? Might as well, right? Cool. Fifty more days. Oh, I, I keep forgetting about this. Dang it. And we're doing really well with Rose, but still. Um, and we should have extra time just in case to prepare ourselves. Then again, I did max out Germany's strength, so we'll see. <laughs> So we're actually we should be doing quite better on guns. That's looking really bad too. We're gonna get a lot of planes and a lot of tactical bombers as well. Are they slowly pushing in? Uh, I would say so. Let's go and just kill these guys off. Oh, we got rid of our generals. Well, that makes sense. Huh. Um, you're not really a tank guy, but I'd rather have you. What else you love? For now, so you're still alive. Uh, help us out. 
Infantry attack, 50% is pretty good, not gonna lie. Force it. There we go. Are they doing force defense now? No, they're not. It's gonna take a lot of things, that's all. Uh, everything for the state. Marco Polo Bridge incident, very nice, very nice. You gotta win. You're gonna lose all your strength if you don't. Uh, planes. 36, 30, 40. Ah! Uh, close air support would be nice. We don't really need naval bombers just yet. Air doctrine, we might as well do that now since we get such a good bonus to it right now, so. Bounty amounts is so bad, but whatever. There you go. Very costly, but whatever. Just so now we can help out and hold in certain areas, maybe. There you go. Just in case. Purge the workers' opposition. The workers' opposition is a group of syndicalists who aim to end the vanguard as the nature of our party. The elimination must be paramount. Everything for the state and the NKVD and the people. The people need to understand that NKVD is a temporary measure. Under communism, people know how to self-arrest themselves. Ooh. Well, everybody, right now, we can, of course, do finalize the Air Force purges. A strong air arm is very important for modern army. We must make sure that there are no traitors in it. Absolutely, as, of course, we are doing, oh, America's neutrality policy, but the NKVD and the people, of course, so... Oh uh, yeah, basically, arrest yourself, people. And then communal housing. Uh, we do not want a repeat of the housing crisis of the 20s, therefore more communal houses must be built. As we're just kind of hanging out and waiting to uh, take over Spain. So It's only August, 1937. We're still doing well on building up a lot more factories, which is nice. Oh, streamlined bureaucracy's gone. That sucks, bro. But overall, like... I think we'll be doing pretty well with this campaign. Now, we need definitely more support equipment, but we definitely need more planes as well. Yeah, we need a lot of things, man. We need a lot of things. <sighs> kind of sucks. These guys aren't really pushing in too much. Uh, we're doing not great here, actually. So it's a little surprising. Of course, they have 300 enemy planes, but what do you expect, you know, at this point? Oh, um, actually, that's the case. I'll send both of you here. Uh, actually, hold on to like this. And then do that. And then take you guys. And there you go. Commuter housing is very nice, and we'll get to the eight-year stuff soon, but uh, final, finalize Navy purges. We must make sure that no surviving fascist Trotsky and liberals exist in the Navy, lest they turn on us. Promote Simeon Timoshenko? Yes, please. Restore order in Belarus, or Belarus and such Russia. Cool. And then Ukraine and Central Asia and Siberia and all those great places over there. Uh, in the meantime, can we just go here and just do like that? We might be able to, maybe. Maybe, perhaps, yes, yes. Ah, just a slight help. We'll call it one slight help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's all we really wanted to do here. Boom, bong, bing. Cover the most important aspects. Let them struggle, let them attack us, we'll enjoy ourselves, if n nothing else. Kidnap Yevgeny Miller. Yevgeny Miller, the leader of the Russian All Military Union, a monarchist organization based in Belgrade, must be brought from Yugoslavia by force to face punishment. As well as, labor group politicians are despicable anti-Marxist social democrats. They must be removed from the USSR. Now we need more political power. Oh! Oh, whoops. I forgot about Ethiopia. Whoops, my bad. I guess we lost our divisions down there. We're, yeah, whoopsie. My bad. Whoops. Oh. Um, my fault. Completely. Ah, happens though. We'll make some more divisions. It'll be fine. Right, right, right. Right. So these state divisions. Uh, let's throw on engineers. Uh, we don't have the support companies for them, but whatever. Maintenance companies, yes, please. I'll throw on some um, armored recon, which I do usually like using. Artillery wouldn't be bad as either, so let's do that anyways because we're here already. Oh, something happened there. Whatever. Thank you very much. And what is next? Purge the left socialist revolutionaries. Our former allies in the Civil War. The left socialist revolutionaries represent the only threat outside the Communist Party who can rally the people. We must get rid of them at once. Oh, are you attacking us and hurting us that badly? Oh, continue the war in religion. I've heard of political power, though. I mean, the Stalin Revolution would be nice. Strengthen cadres. Our cadres are used to allow the party to act, si act outside of the law. And they must be strengthened in order to continue our class war. Ooh, actually, or we do this one. I'll combine operations first. In order for our tactics to succeed, we need to make sure that our infantry, armor, and air fleet work together in unison. Maintenance 2 is nice. Of course, it is still 1937. We're going to need some logistic companies, probably, so that's fine. You should be able to win there. There you go. Nice. Good job, guys. I knew it was a struggle, but you still powered through. Here, have some more advisors. Uh, we got so, so, Oh, my goodness. Crime wave. Oh, that's going to take a while to do. This is going to take a while as well, but whatever. All right. Um, Reevaluate our trade policy towards something? Towards France. We should decrease trade with the power that we did not choose to make a treaty with. 
Uh, I'm just going to do that. We'll make the civvies. Yeah, I'll do that first. Why not? And then, boom, bong, bing, bong, boom. Of course, we'll build a lot more roads up here anyway, just so we can build up faster, especially in the, the uh, Asian region of uh, Russia, or the Soviet Union, really. Not just Russia, but the Soviet Union in general. There you go. Eventually. Eventually. Uh, promises of peace. We're still okay on that stuff. Factories will come along. We'll be doing really great. We need way more artillery. We need just a lot more of everything, pretty much, at this point. Plane-wise, we're probably not doing great. No, we're not doing great at all. But we do have a lot of army XP, or air XP, which is pretty nice. Anything here? No? Okay. No, okay. So after this one... Oh, Lenin in October. Most film at the behest of Goskino. I was released a new propaganda film titled Lenin in October, directed by Mikhail Rom. Released on the 20th anniversary of the October Revolution, it features Boris Shukin as Vladimir Lenin and portrayed his actions and attempts to put a socialist government in power, Joseph Stalin, played by Simeon Goldstab. That's a far greater prominence in the film than he did in real life. This, of course, is a government commission film which repeatedly shows anti-Stalin communists as traitors. It must receive the Stalin Prize. Um, continue to the third position. The popular fronts. Communist parties work with other socialists and radicals against fascism. The third period saw communist rejection of cooperation with other parties and the labeling of social democrats as social fascists. However, the increased threat of fascism and nationals, we must uh, order common term parties to organize general anti-fascist activity. Third period. Continue to strategy of non-cooperation with social, uh, social democratic parties. The only thing more dangerous than a capitalist or counter-revolutionary is a rival socialist. Uh, I literally don't know which one is, it is. Um, I'm going to do the third period, maybe, just because we are purging, so that might be wrong to do. I apologize if it is. I'm not entirely sure, so yeah. Armor, mediums, yeah, why not? Die bombing, yeah, why not? There you go, nice. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. Oh, good. Let them attack us. Denounce imperialism. I guess we might as well, right? Uh, we must let imperialistic countries know that they are that we are fully against their expansion. And then we'll do some more uh, other stuff here. So, how do we finish this off? I guess we just have to wait, huh? Non-aggression pact with the Czechs. So, non-aggression pact with Prague will help us facilitate cooperation in Eastern Europe and provide a sense of security towards the Western powers. The system would denounce the Munich Agreement. Oh. Denounce Spanish nationalists. Befriend Spain. It's not some sort of conservative. Okay. Oh, 84. Oh, there we go. Their current influence is 84. Purge NKVD. Our exercise in purging is almost over. Uh, we should now purge NKVD to make sure that we have complete control over the uh, organization. Genrik Gigoda, Kyle Bauman, and Pavel Potyev, Potyev, Potyev will be in prison tried and executed. Goodbye. Guadalajara would be really nice to get. Oh. Denounce Spanish nationalists. Well, we'll see what about that. Um, Stone Revolution would be nice. Let's just do the third five-year plan now. Our ta after our attempts at modernizing civilian industry, our attention must grow turn towards national defense. As Russia's enemies gear up for war, we must prepare military too. Not bad. Here's our civvy construction speed, but that's alright. We're still going to make some, because we need it. There you go. We just need them, so. Not bad, not bad. Oh, they're still up here, oh. Nice. Actually, if you want, let's go right there. That division's literally almost dead, so. Not really worried about it. They accept a pact of non-aggression. The Treaty of the Czech Government or Republic has decided to sign a proposed treaty and enter a pact of non-aggression with us. Under this pact, neither power can take action against the other powers without a real cause to do so. I follow it up with expand military production. Uh, resources again. Oh, that was a one. In order for the Red Army to be the strongest of all, we must be able to supply the soldiers with equipment. Makes sense. Makes too much sense, actually. Go in, boys. It's only three more divisions, but three divisions that will die, or three divisions we don't have to deal with anymore. And now we could probably hopefully win this war here. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, we have an Italian division there, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Get out of there, German scum. 
case of anti-Soviet bloc of writers and Trotskyites. Bukharin's writers should be forced to admit their guilt in killing Sergei Kirov as well as their conspiracies to kill Comrade Stalin. They should then be executed. God dang it, go this way, you moron. Go that way. Huh. Force it. The Spanish should not be able to do anything there. Good, good, good. And they died. Okay, that's good. Oof. Go in. We got it. Oof. We got him. All right. Purge cadets. The cadets are a real records of society. If we are to survive, all remaining cadets must be found and killed. We can still send more stuff if we need to. Third five-year plan. Expand military production. Thank you very much. That's pretty weak. You might as well try to go in there now. Maybe? No? Yes? No? Yes? Yes? There we go. We're over the river now. If you can go in there, that'd be great, but you look pretty darn god-awful right now, so... Um, uh, Barricade. Barricade is a munitions company established in Stalingrad before the Great War. In order to produce sufficient amounts of ammo and artillery pieces, we must extend the plant. If you could cut these guys off, that would be amazing. But, we got caught. Dang it. I hate when you get caught. Go on hold for now. Actually, let's throw everyone in. Cool. Hey, what? We still have some guns to go through, which I didn't address yet, but still. Um, that should cut these guys off if we can get into here. Integralist Uprising Crush in Brazil, alright. Come on. That's so incredibly stupid. Win here. Just go to Leon. Go, go, go. Anschluss of Austria. There goes Austria. Jesus Christ. Just kill them off. Uh, after this one, we're going to do finalized army purges. We've purged nearly 20,000 officers and many more infantrymen, but we should continue to find enemies at the top of the chain of command. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Logistics 1 is nice. Happy 38, everybody. Anything here? Yes. Research speed? Yes. Now, these guys... Oh, actually, you're at the capital here. These guys should be starving and dying, then. Direct ground support? I'll just keep going with this stuff for now. Um, Mapo? The Moscow Koya Avaciona Brovza... Proizvodzvenyoy, Obedinye, Moscow Aircraft Production Association will be created out of the Dukes factory in Moscow. As the name suggests, it will be the principal manufacturer of military aircraft. Uh, 50% pretty good. Director Grigory Alexandrov's new film, Volga Volga, premiered today in Moscow, featuring music by Isaac Dunayevsky. The film depicts uh, singers from a Russian village on their way to perform the Moscow Musical o Olympiad. Uh, the lead role is played by Lee, Lee above, uh, Orlova, who, since Jolly Fellows, has become Comrade Stalin's favorite actress. The other lead roles are played by Igor Ilensky, Andrei Tuchkin, and Anatoly Shalyev. The musical has reportedly become Comrade Stalin's favorite film. The one chef looks like Comrade Khrushchev. Hmm, that's funny. You bust these guys out, maybe? Third five-year plan, pretty much. We just gotta do really well with it, that's all. Purge oh, uh, the Tolmachev Belarusian opposition. The Tolmachev Belarusian opposition in the Red Army is a dangerous group of nationalist dissidents who must be purged to eliminate anti social sentiment in the Red Army. I hope we're getting close with this. Okay, this is getting a little, a little ridiculous. Suspected Belarusian nationalists, okay. Uh, Konovalets, the leader of the subversive organization of Ukrainian nationalists, must be killed to avoid his nationalism from poisoning their territories. The economic ministries are filled with liberal spies, fascist saboteurs, and Trotsky sympathizers. The whole ministry must be purged. The foreign ministry is full of Trotskyites who seek to put us in bed with the fascists. We cannot let this stand. Yay. I'll be disappointed if we can't actually complete this, because we've, we've done the best we could so far. Timoshenko, uh, get a new guy maybe. Hey, Sergei! Oh, no, no, Sergei. Sidorov. 
Hey, he's actually a tank guy. Nice. Somewhat of a tank guy. Go in there, cut these guys off more. There we go. Ah, uh, god dang Germans. Barricadi. Mapo. I know it's not very historical, but whatever. There you go. Nice. Um. I'm gonna keep this option open because we still have a lot of purge, but we can't purge, so it's kind of dumb. A lot of this is 39. Uh, time of research should probably waste it right now, but whatever. So try it. Oh, purge a GPU. Um, uh, military intelligence could betray us to Imperials at any moment. We must prevent these dangerous Bukharanist fascists from doing so. The leadership of the various Soviet Socialist Republics must be replaced. They are either too enthusiastic or not enthusiastic enough. Seriously? How? Because they have a lot of planes, that's why. That's why. Yeah, they're coming back with a lot more force. Holy crap. Die, you scum sucker. Get to save the division. Oh, we saved it. We saved it. Oh, my goodness. Go into yourself as well. So these are the last two, huh? Why did we get encircled? What? Force it. Force the attack. Thank God. That's ridiculous. Kill these stupid Nazis off. There you go. Thank God. Why are you guys all the way over there? Um, yeah, Mount's pretty bad. I mean, Fighting Hills is pretty bad too, but still. Mapo? Uh, there is a balabstroy. The Moscow dirigible factory must be removed towards aircraft production in order to prepare the air fleet for war. Alright, so now we. It looks like we have enough, but not really. We do that, we're gonna do that. We got plenty more to build still. Plenty, 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 plenty. Plenty. Hey, we completed the Great Bird J. We actually got it done. Nice. So I wanted to accomplish in this uh, episode, so. As of number 174, Leningrad State Plant number 174, named uh, K.E. Boroshilov as the name of a former Bolshevik plant, which needs to be expanded if we are to have sufficient artillery pieces. Yay. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Hey, those Italians are going to die. Just what God wanted. Uh, medium tanks would be pretty nice. Hey, we actually won. I don't think we're supposed to win. Why didn't the anarchists spawn up? Uh, were we doing too well? Maybe that's because we were doing too well. It's probably because of that. Huh. All right, wow, we have like, no generals. Good to great Kulik is here, but... Yeah. A little better, I guess. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that, there you go. We need an entire another army here. Because you're tanks. Um... Just become like normal infantry. It's fine, I don't care. Uh, you two are fine. Voroshilov is okay for now. China. Hold on. Do you have a lot of resistance up here? I'm not going to I'll go up there. You got a lot of resistance, man. No, no, no. Nine divisions. So draw, that's fine for now. All right, yeah, that's really bad. That's a lot of resistance. Still going down, I guess, but still, that's still pretty god awful. I'm not gonna lie. And these tanks can uh, rest easy now. I 
All right, in this one too. Social Democrats form government in Norway. All righty, tidy. Anything else here just yet? Oh, well, I can't do this one, huh? Well, oh well, expansion. Why not? Although we stand for workers in all countries, our government is interested in reclaiming lands lost in the uh, <clears throat> Treaty of Brest Litovsk and the Civil War. This will come at the expense of Poland, Finland, and the Baltic nations, of course. Guarantee Finland. Ultimatum to the Finns. Huh. They invade Poland. Sounds like a fun thing to do. Store order in Central Asia and Siberia. Yeah, we just gotta make more factories. That's good. That's better. Well, that's actually this worse, but whatever. Uh, tanks, motorized, planes, you name it. We gotta get a lot of stuff. We are nowhere where we really need to be. Um, store production, eh, artillery. Eh, it's not really worth doing right now. Formation flying. Operational stuff. Vast offensives. It does help with a combo with, and less supply consumption, but... Man, 500 days. Jesus Christ, that's so long. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Continue collectivization. Oh, well. <coughs> Claim Western Belarus and Ukraine. Poland is occupying land lost to us in the, to the Great War illegally. We must make it clear that we are the true rulers of the region. Denounce Munich Agreement. I'm going to do this one first. So-called great empires of England and France have betrayed their friends in the east of the Germans. We will not stand for this. And I'll do that one first. I heard some consumer goods, but whatever. And we're going to... Uh, why not? We'll do that. Promises of peace. No, we're good. Can you guys, like, stop doing that? Stop it. Um, since we're here, get another thing of... Infantry for now. There you go. Do four for now. Just keep putting too many guys around here. Come on, go somewhere. And then you guys go right there. Something like that. Cool. And go to Finland now. We're okay. Let's keep going this way. The expand resource uh, refineries. The supplier factories. We need more resources. Thus, we must invest more resources in excavating and refining more resources. Follow it up with. Ooh, it's not bad. Expand Leningrad aluminum plants. We need more aluminum for our vehicles, and Leningrad is a natural place to start and to expand production. Not bad. Now train. We need way more guns, though. Wow. Motorized. Because these guys are good for garrisons. Oh man, these guys suck. Actually. Motorcycles. Motorized. Wait, where's... Motorcycles. Motorized. Oh, that's what it is. I thought it was bicycle division for some reason. When I first started, so, okay. So what's the difference? If I do this and we replace it with cavalry. Uh, they're better suppression. Slightly more organization. Oh, all right, not bad. Do we have enough motorcycles for this? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, 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 no. Let's make them tank combat with. Throw on some engineers, some artillery. Oh wait, what? Never mind. Engineers are fine. Artillery slows you down. Huh? I'm glad I noticed that. Motorized motorcycle recon. All right, we'll try that out. Logistics, yeah. I sent a barge of garbage divisions this way. Not a good idea. Aftermath of the Great Purge. In the aftermath of the Great Purge, many institutions were left in shambles. Uh, the military was left without authority. Hundreds of thousands of peasants were killed and sent to labor camps, and many of the government ministries saw their work disrupted. However, as time goes on, orders being restored new. Bureaucrats are being trained, officers are being taught, and life is generally returning to a state of calm. The wounds are beginning to heal. Nice. Alexei Nevsky. Uh, as directed by Sergei Einstein, premiere today. The film stars Nikolai Chekasov as Prince Alexander who depicts his fight against the Teutonic Knights in the 13th century. In the film, the invaders are brought into Skov with Verdillo, a traitor, and the murder of the entire population because of the clergy, nobility, and merchants are unwilling to fight. Nevsky rallies the people to defeat the Teutons in the Battle of Ice, which takes up 30 minutes of the film. The film has also depicts interactions with the Mongols. It has become the new popular film with approval from Stalin himself. 
Yeah, nice. Cool, awesome, not bad. But keep producing. Um, yeah, get more millies. I mean, we're just lacking so many millies. After this one, Chromium. Oh, Arsenal would be nice. So, Gorkovsky Avdomobilny Zavod. The a aka GAZ is a result of a deal with a Ford Motor Company signed in 1929, in which we purchased automobiles and parts worth $13 million, and Ford agreed to provide us with technical assistance in building the GAZ in Gorky. The plan must be expanded to support military production, like everything else. It's just so bad. I know we're trying to build a massive military here, but like, brah. Brah. 0.73 is not great. After oh my gosh, the division organization, no wonder we were doing so badly earlier. An early digital computer, huh? Cool. Happy 1939, everybody. Uh, that's pretty nice. Nah, let's get some more output. We absolutely need it. <coughs> Excuse them all. But make sure we always have two lines on CVs at all times. And even more millies right now. Just because... Like, as you can see, it's, it's not enough. Nice. And Kievsky Arsenal. The Kiev Arsenal is an armaments factory dating back to the mid-18th century. We should reestablish it to allow us to produce even more weaponry. Uh, this is production cost. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, there goes Czechoslovakia. Oh! Okay, then. You guys doing okay here? Are you... You guys are the attackers, huh? Can I actually win here? Yeah, actually you can. That's good. Good stuff. These numbers are all very fluctuating quite a bit. Let's hold then. Or we can come over here too and kill these guys off as well. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, strategic bombers? I guess we could throw one on, eventually. Yeah, and then the arsenal will be good next to do. Help him out. Force the attack, you'll be fine. Get rid of them. Oh, promote some guy. Nice, yes. I didn't destroy is not bad. You know, we have like no plans whatsoever, but whatever. Everyone get to their positions. Nice. If we force it, we could win here. I know we can. Because that division is going to die and make it much easier for us to kill them off. Because if you have no organization. They die. Then again, if they're doing force defense, then there's not much we can do about that. Force it. Force it. Seriously, this is so dumb. Well, that division should have died, so. Lessons learned. Don't even bother helping out the Chinese. Because, my God, our horses suck so badly. Go somewhere else. See what else we can do. Ah, uh, chromium in Ersk. To build larger ships, we need chromium. We should respect for some base on reports in Ersk. Nice. Um, yeah, we just need more guns. Um, oh, 50% is not bad. Last one. Ah, that's not bad. 23,000 is not bad. Excessive checks. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. Poland join the Allies. It's fine, whatever. Need more motorcycles now. The Mimimiland. Chromium. Uh, expand naval output. The Navy must not be neglected, so we must construct new dockyards to improve output. As we'll have to fight on multiple bodies of water which are not accessible from the other, this is not a task for the weak. Oh, they're up here too, huh? Can you actually defend up here too? Why do you keep flipping this around, man? Aftermath of the Great Purge. Nice. Uh, that'll be good. Yeah, we'll finish a lot of this stuff up as well. We'll finish a lot of this stuff up as well. Um, and of course, we got a lot of this stuff to do as well. We need a bonus for land auction too. Uh, the future of Europe. 
Now the Great Purge has been dealt with, we must decide a position on the fu Europe's future. Deal with the devil, that sounds like fun. And foreign policy adventures. A hand to the capitalists. Anti-British positions. Overtures of London. Stalingrad Line. The Wizard of the Emerald City. Alexander Volkov has published a new child's novel called The Wizard of the Emerald City in the book. A girl named Ellie Smith and her little dog, little Toto, are swept away to a magical land, killing the evil witch Gingma with her house. They are told by a good witch, Vilina, that the Wizard of the Emerald City, James Goodwin, can send them back home. Along the way, they befriend the Scarecrow, the Iron Lumberjack, and the Cowardly Lion before Goodwin sends Ellie and little Toto home. They are sent to kill another evil witch, Bastinda. After killing her, they return to Goodwin, who fails to send them home. The group then goes to see Stella, a second good witch, to finally send them home. We're not in Astrakhan anymore, Totoshka. <laughs> Stalingrad line. I don't know which one's historical. Oh, this is Pot Sam Concordat. The Yalta Naval Treaty. Yeah, probably something like that. Uh, I think this is the way to go, but we can wait first. Um, yeah, I'll we'll do that one next. Because it's already June. June, 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 June. Oh, I forgot about doing some of this stuff, too. Oops, my bad. Some engineers. We might need some engineers, man. Yeah, our guys just suck hard. Remote Zukov, Konstantin Rokososovsky. Not bad. Invade Poland. Guarantee Finland. Should Finland ally with the Western powers, Leningrad will be hopelessly undefended. If we were to propose a guarantee of Finland's borders against imperialists, in exchange for granting us some islands in the Gulf of Finland, we would be in a better position to demand the return of Tsar's territories. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, just because we have a somewhat decent looking army doesn't mean it's any good. We are using mass assault, so I don't want to forget that. Rokosovsky, huh? Good god, we need more generals. Where are you all at? Um, I don't want to have supply issues, but we'll see. Finland refuses their help, of course. The Finns would have refused to allow us to guarantee their independence. They claim that they would rather maintain a policy of neutrality than align towards any foreign powers. That has put a wrench in our plans to retake the Tsar's territories, invade Poland. Half of Belarus and a large portion of Ukraine will be returned to Russia through the might of the Red Army. Ultimatum to Finland. The Finnish border is far too close to Leningrad. We should demand that the Finns allow us to occupy a stretch of land 30 kilometers to the north. In exchange, they will offer some sort of some form of Karelia. If they refuse, then the military option will be on the table. Claims Bessarabia. Based in the Baltic. Let that stuff go on for now. Um, yeah, we'll do the naval output next. So they're in the Allies, and I'm not going to go to war with them. So I don't know why they're allowed to join the Allies yet. Thirty-nine. Some more output as well. Oh, we got the output. Good. I'll get that one then. We'll see what they say, and then we'll do some, a lot of the naval stuff, which we don't really need to do. But I want to finish up the thirty-year plan as fast as possible. Getting those bonuses are really helpful. And they'll probably say no. They refuse their demands. Well, the Finnish diplomats have refused or turned to Finland on the assumption that we can continue negotiations later. We'll take a withdrawal to total refusal. We should now activate our uh, invasion plan. I don't want to invade without generals, so... Uh, you suck. And uh, you're not bad, Lavar. You already fought him in? Well, Zukov. Didn't think you'd be a field marshal already, but whatever. Be, f be offensive. Fans leader will probably replace you with someone else later on. And you guys... Whatever. Um, do we want to start World War II here? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You guys go there. Oh, there you go. And then you guys go there. And you just kind of hang out. So, hopefully this is not start World War II. <laughs> and I know it's not super historical, but it's close. A couple of comments, though. 
Um, you guys go in and cam. Uh, some comments. For struggle, don't focus on the Navy too much. Make 60,000 T-34s by the end of the campaign. Well, we'll see. Uh, the Call Before the Storm mod is a very liberal mod. Plays a CNT FAI as well as Lipsock Italy and TNO, which I'm not sure they have content yet, but maybe eventually. Uh, the Cornetsatia is more historical. Friends, friendship has better buffs, though. And anyone want to discuss 1930 Soviet policy in the comments? I was someone who asked that, so I'm like, eh, I don't know, if you want to, it's fine. And we weren't winning in uh, China anyway, so who cares. I'm not too concerned about the north, I'm more concerned about this area down here, so. The Piotti, nice. Oh, look at that. You know what, we have a navy here, don't we? Not much of one. Treaty of Moscow. In light of a recent invasion, the Finns have surrendered their, to their army. We're now meeting with them in Moscow to discuss terms. Under the final version of the treaty, we should see Sala, Petsamo, Vipuri, and Lisa Hanko Peninsula as a naval base. We shall take it. Uh, I did say I want to go historical. If we can't, you know, let's go all the way into the last day. I want to beat the crap out of the Finns as much as possible. I do not want them to have an army. The pact with Germany. The Germans have offered us a treaty. We should work together to split Eastern Europe into our spheres of influence. We will get some former imperial territory, and they will get their former territory. Should we accept the pact? Nope. Absolutely not. Keep going, keep going. Even though we're struggling a little bit, it does give us quite a bit more army XP, which is something we absolutely need. And which we're getting a lot because of the bonus to the aftermath of the Great Purge, so. And we shall take it. So now we're ready to fight the Poles, if need be. Yay. Um, you guys kind of hang out, um, actually you guys can just hang out on the border here, for now, since they will be back. Uh, you guys, honestly, just become infantry. There you go. Not sure what else to do with you, but, so, do that. I don't want to send them back to China. We've learned our lesson. There you go. Ah, screw it. Wait, the Spanish Republic joined the Allies. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That's so stupid. They're just gonna make Germany more powerful, probably. Well, maybe not more powerful. They did lose. Last time I played is them. But then again, Germany is max buff. We did, I did give them max buff, so. And I don't want to go to war with these guys because they're in the Allies. There's no point for me to go to war with them. Like, that's something in the mod that I don't like, that I think needs to be looked at, but... Zavod number 182, Dagzitzel? It's a company based in Dagestan that produces shipboard instruments. If we expand the plant, then we can increase our naval output. Sounds perfect to us. Absolutely perfect. And then we'll do a lot of the capitalist stuff, and, yeah, we still have end the cadres as well, eventually. But that'll come in time, eventually. Eventually. But let's go and do this stuff. Fortify Hanko. Let's do bases in the Baltic. We must demand the ability to host military bases uh, on the territory of the Baltic nations. We can use these to demand annexations later on. Insurgency in Chechnya. Hmm. We're hoping it would be pretty nice. Rebels led by the Chechen intellectual Hassan Israelov have today taken control of several owls, fortified villages in the Shatoysky district located in the southern Chechnya. The proclamation of the provisional popular revolutionary government of Chechnya in Chechnya proclaims their aim as independence for the Chechnya and all Caucasian peoples. The people seem to be sympathetic as they've always been already begun invading Soviet conscription statutes. Well, they choose to be dumb, then they choose to be dumb. And we need way more guns and artillery. Just in case. We'll move them around for now. Well, that's going to take a long time to do. Oh, there goes holes. Not very historical uh, when we get, don't get invade because they join the allies, so. Yeah. Well, there's some British divisions trapped in there, too. That's pretty nice. Good job, Germany. Good job. Pat on the back. Pat on the back for the Germans. Germany turns land over to us. The German Reich has turned over some of our claims as per the usual terms of our agreement. Our foreign ministry now sent a note to Adolf Hitler's government thanking them for their generosity. The Germans are trustworthy for now. This is very. What the heck is this? Um, Occupy territories. We already did this stuff, so we're looking pretty good there. But what the heck? Aftermath of the Great Purge. Wounds are beginning healed. Nice. This is very ugly. 
Very ugly. This is definitely not historical borders, man. But, whatever. No. Get over there, ding dong. Oh, what are you guys doing? Ah. Do you not have a... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You're just going to starve there, aren't you? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Got to wait a month for them to do that. Okay, the German turns over more land to us. Okay, that's a little... That's much more historical now. Alright. Uh, bases in the Baltic. And... Occupy the Baltic States. What is this doing? Okay. Now that we have soldiers placed in the Baltic States, we should be able to use them as leverage to force the Baltic governments to appoint communist governments. Yes. Anything else for 39? No, 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 no. Engineering... Uh, get some better artillery, that's always useful. Always, always, always useful. Oh, restore order in Belarus, huh? Okay, of course. Fighting the crime wave. I'd rather do some first. Oh! Oh, oh, send KVD agents or spies to take it down a cell. We will that some location of the location of a insurgent cell. We should send our agents to take it down and regain control of a village. Third five year plan, of course, we can just kind of close that one out. It's fine. A lot of you agrees. We allow a limited, albeit large, number of our military personnel to establish permanent bases in the country. They'll say they will help us in our eventual occupation. And they have all agreed. Occupy the Baltic States. Claim Bessarabia. Fortify Hanko. Oh, now they get the naval base in there. Stupid. We should build a naval base on the Hanko Peninsula to house our fleet. You can starve our tanks out, you piece of garbage. Yeah, there's some things here I don't necessarily like. Ah, the Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic joins the chooses to join the USSR. The government of the Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic has decided to, to disband and allow communist governments back, or co back by us to establish order. Uh, these governments quickly vote in favor of joining the USSR and Soviet republics. Our military is ordered to occupy the capital and should, order should be restored soon. They all decided to join. Look at that. Oh. What if I hunko? And we'll read one more before we end the episode here. Develop Finland. Hmm. Well, I we can't quite take this one yet. Then Bessarabia. Let's wait for that one, because we still need to do the third year, third plan stuff. Or we do this stuff here. Defend the Rodina. Moscow line. Stalingrad line. Partisans arise. Alliance of Germany. Trivivibetsk. I think this is the way we should go, right? A hand of the capitalists? I'm not really sure which one this one is. I think it's this one, right? Attack the Rodina. Well, that's not bad. For the Rodina. Let's keep going this way. So we'll do Zedonsky. Sudostroyneli. Zavod. A new shipyard in Mariupol named after Andre Zidanev will help to improve our Black Sea naval capabilities. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll see what happens in which we might get invaded due to some German aggression. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.